What's up, Tackle Warehouse fans? Jake here, bringing you this week's episode of What's New Tackle Warehouse. Hopefully everyone's getting out to the lake, enjoying some fishing. If you get a chance to get out of the deer stand, now's a great time to get out on the water. All the wakeboarders and stuff are gone and you get the lakes back to ourselves again. So the first few I got here today, probably ones everyone's seen before. If you've ever opened up your grandpa's old tackle box or something like that, you've probably seen one of these in it. So these are from h, &H Lure Company. Uh, these are h, &H little spinner baits. So h, h has been making these for over 50 years. Uh, these are awesome little baits. They've been catching fish for decades. As you can see, they're super compact. We have them in a bunch of different sizes and a bunch of different blade configurations. So we have Colorado Willow, single Colorado, double Colorado, you know, what, whatever you want, whatever type of blade you want, we pretty much got it. They have all kinds of different colors, like these old, you know, yellow, black, you know, blue chartreuse. And they come with that flat living rubber skirt material that used to be popular and no one really uses it anymore. So you don't really see it that much but it still works really well. And these are really good in cold water because that living rubber never sticks together like that silicone does. They come with a replaceable double hook on there. So it's a free swinging double hook, get great hookup ratio. And these just catch everything from bass, crappie to bluegills and walleyes and whatever you want to fish for, everything bites these little spinner baits. So been around forever. I believe they're like two bucks, just something that you can go to any body of water, throw them out there, you're gonna catch fish. Something you always need to have in your box. A couple other things that we got from H&H, &H, a couple cool, cool additions as well. So we have their Pro Cajun Spin. So instead of the, the skirted material on there, it comes with a little hand pour grub. This is the bigger size. I believe this one's the quarter ounce size. So you can replace the jig head if you want to run a different kind of jig head on there. And then you got three replacement grub bodies inside the package as well. And the last one they got here is their new Sokole Slayer. So Awesome looking little bait because it has this little minnow body on there with that little thin tail. So it's just going to get the tiniest little bit of swimming action. And like the name implies, the Sokolea Slayer, these are dynamite for fishing for crappie. Throw them up under docks, over the top of brush piles, and you're going to catch a ton of fish. This one comes with an extra body in the package as well. Like all the other H&H &H lures, you're not only going to catch crappie, you're going to catch everything that swims with these little spinners. Just great little baits, super inexpensive and super fun to use. All right, next up, we got a couple hard baits from Spro. We got a couple of their new Essential Series in stock. So these were released at iCast. So we have their new Popper. I believe it's 80 size. It's a little over three inches. And with it being a little bit longer and that having that deep cut mouth and just a little bit bigger than most of your poppers out there, you're not only gonna get a great popping action, it's gonna be easy to walk as well. Two really loud knocker rattles in there. So get a great sound out of it. And then we got their zero minnow. So right now is a great time of the year to be throwing these wake baits, especially these chrome colored ones. The fish are really concentrating on shad, pushing them in the back of coves and the back of pockets. These chrome wake baits do a really good job this time of the year. They do a really good job in the spring and the summer as well, but when they're really chasing bait up in the back of shallows, uh, these are dynamite. And not only are you getting a spro quality lure with all these, they also come with gamagatsu hooks on each of them. Got a hand tied feather on the popper and they only come in at $6.99 and $7.29. So you're getting premium lure, premium components on it for a great price. Don't have to change anything. Ready to fish right out of the box. Next up, we got a new crankbait that I'm super excited about. So another one that's got just tons of, you know, years and years of innovation and trial and error to get this just right. So this is the new Ishikawa Rick Klun King Kong Shad. So everyone knows who Rick Klun is four-time classic champion, you know, arguably one of the greatest anglers of all time, Bass Fishing Hall of Fame, you know, the list goes on and on. So this is a, a square bill that Rick has been working on so from his, his years of crankbait experience. This is something that he's worked on developing with Ishikawa in Japan to get it just right. So as you can see, this is an oversized square bill. So this is made to catch your bigger than average fish, you know, the, the fish that you need to win tournaments. So it weighs, I believe, an ounce and three sixteenths, a little bit over an ounce, it's a big bait and the shape of it is really unique as well. So it has a square bill, but the square bill is a little bit narrower than most of your square bills out there. It's not super wide in relation to the body. And then it also has this angle on the head. So what this does is that this bait is tuned and perfectly balanced. And Rick relied on you know, the Japanese engineers over at Ichikawa to get this thing just right because uh, this bait is made to be reeled at high speeds. That's what he said he's all about, is reeling this thing as fast as you can, the faster you can reel it, the more and bigger bites you're going to get. He said they'll eat it better and you're going to catch bigger fish. Not only does his head help, help the swimming action on it, it's got a real nice wobble to it. 
um, since this head, this flat head shape is in line with the bill, this actually almost elongates the bill a little bit and it allows it to dive deeper than most of your square bills on the market. So even though it's just a square bill, it gets down to that eight to 10 foot range. So you can fish it like a mid diving crankbait. So it's a big bait. They've got a bunch of cool colors, you know, like craw crawfish colors, baby bass, bluegill. And then it comes out of the box with uh, the Ishikawa Kamakiri hooks on it. Fluorine coated, you know, slick gray coated treble hook. They're sticky sharp. They kind of have an out barb to it. So you hook a lot of fish and they penetrate really well. So once fish gets hooked on there, these hooks penetrate and you're gonna catch them. So if you're looking for a crankbait that's designed by one of the best crankbait anglers of all time, Rick Clun, you wanna check out the Ishikawa Rick Clun King Kong Shad Crankbait. And if you want to reel that thing fast, like Rick said, you always want to reel that bait fast. If you need a reel to do that, we got from Casking, we got their new Speed Demon Reel. So this reel made in super high gear ratios, that's the great thing about it. It comes in an 8.6 gear ratio and a 10.5. Two, two extremely high gear ratios. There isn't very many reels out on the market that even have a 10 to one gear ratio. So, I mean, this thing is pulling in a lot of line per crank. So when you really need to move down the bank quickly, this is gonna be the one you wanna check out. It's also got a double bearing supported brass pinion gear. So your pinion gear is gonna stay perfectly straight and supported all the time. Really smooth, so when it's under a heavy load as well, you're gonna maintain smooth reeling action. It's got an 18 pound carbon fiber drag system in it. Just a phenomenal reel. I believe it only comes in at 129 bucks as well. So if you need a high speed reel to, to reel those Rick Cullen cranks, check out the Casking Speed Dimming. All right, another cool product that I'm super excited about that I didn't even know it was on the market. This is the new Loon Outdoors UV Knot Sense. So this is not new to the market, but it's new to Tackle Warehouse and something that the fly fishing guys have been using for years and maybe something us bass fishermen should have been using for a long time. So what this is, is a liquid that you can put over your connection knots and then it cures and makes your connection knots on your line way stronger and a lot smoother as well. So this is what fly guys use it when they're connecting their leader to their main line. It's using this knot sense to just make a smoother, cleaner connection. Um, really cool, especially if you're gonna be using heavier lines and you have those kind of bigger connection knots. And if you have a rod that has really small guides on it and you have a problem with your knots flying through the guides, this is gonna help really well. You just, you simply apply it, smooth it out where you want it and it cures within 10 or 15 seconds with a UV light. So you can use a UV flashlight or you can just um, you know, make sure you're doing this in the shade and then put it in the sun and it cures in like 10 or 15 seconds. And you can put multiple layers and really get that knot smoothed out on the end so you're not gonna have any of those rough spots casting through your guides. And not only does it make your knot smoother, it actually makes them stronger as well. So, I mean, it's multiple benefits, no reason not to use this stuff. Loon Outdoors, not sense. All right, so cold weather's coming. We gotta get ready for it. So we got a bunch of new gear from Sims. First up, we got a new shirt from Sims. So not only do we got a new cool t-shirt, we got a bunch of new cold weather gear as well. So the first step, first batch of stuff I'm gonna go over with is the new Sims Gore-Tex Infinium series gear. So we have it in their, in their beanie, we have it in the net gator, and we have it in, their, in the hat with, uh, with the flap on it. So what Gore-Tex Infinium is, is a new material by Gore-Tex and it's extremely, weather resistant and it's completely 100% windproof. So you can be going down the lake, got your beanie on, your net gaiter, or if you're just out on those cold mornings and the wind is blowing, this completely blocks all wind. So when you have those bone chilling winds, you know, coming up here in the wintertime, you wanna get this stuff before it gets cold and not be out on the lake being miserable and coming back and finding out all the stuff is sold out. Get it before the cold weather gets here. So we have the net gaiters, um, we have the beanies, and then we have these hats as well. So we have these windproof hats. They have a nice flap on them. So keep your ears nice and warm. If you don't want to have the full net gator up and over everything, we got the hats. We got a few other pieces as well. So we got their new Merino wool light hiker socks. So I believe they're 66 or 68% Merino wool. Nice soft cushion on the bottom. Going to keep your feet really warm. Merino wool is the best, you know, at keeping yourself warm and regulating temperature. They're moisture wicking, you know, they, they dry really quick. Just awesome, you know, like uh, warmth to weight ratio. Then we also have their lightweight merino wool beanie. I really like this beanie. I'm definitely picking one of these up because it's super thin and it's merino wool. So it's going to keep your head really warm. But what's cool about this lightweight beanie is that you can wear it underneath your hat. So it's super thin. So you can, you know, put it on and still wear your hat over it. And you're not going to have the big bulky beanie. Sometimes the big bulky beanie is a little bit too much. If you just want that little bit of extra warmth, you know, perfect for fall time of the year, check out this new lightweight one. 
In addition to the hats, we got this new, uh, their new dockware hat. So this is made out of a wax cotton. It's quilted on the inside, so more of a heavy duty rigid hat. Looks cool, and then it's also super insulated on the inside since it's quilted. So another great piece of headgear. The last two, something to keep you extremely warm. So we got the new Extreme jacket, and then we also have their new, uh, the Bicomp jacket. What's cool about these is they're both insulated with Primaloft insulation. So instead of down, they're using Primaloft and they have a stitchless baffling on here. So no stitches in the baffling, it keeps that Primaloft perfectly separated all the way through the, the jacket. And then you're not gonna have any of that stitching where your insulation starts to come out of those stitching holes. With the Bicomp down here at the bottom, this is made to be worn with a set of bibs. And as you can see down here at the bottom, it turns into a fleece material. So that tucks perfectly in your bibs and you're not gonna, you're not gonna get all bulky and bunchy, especially when you're in your bibs and you're sitting down, to, you know, making a run across the lake that, you know, you're gonna be a little bit more flexible with this. Um, if you need, if you want the maximum insulation, you can go over to the extreme. So full Prima Loft insulation all the way down to the bottom, full zip on it, it's got pockets. Uh, chest pockets, side pockets, um, the cream loft insulation, this stuff is, it's super lightweight and it keeps you extremely warm. When, when you're testing these things out, you put them on and you wear it for a minute or two and you're already, you know, you're already too hot inside the office, you gotta take these things off. So they work really well. They're super lightweight, they weigh nothing and they're super packable as well. The extreme jacket can actually pack into one of the pockets on the side. So it's got a little slot on here. You can pack this thing down into a nice little bunch and just keep it in your boat or whatever when the weather turns and you need something to keep yourself warm. All right, last up, we got some new apparel. What's gonna go with that to keep you looking good? We got the new Costa Fur Glasses. So everyone knows that Costa makes premium sunglasses, probably some of the best on the market. These new Fergs are named after the founder of Costa, Ray Ferguson, just as you expect from all the Costa glasses. Premium materials on here. This new frame with this uh, reef finish on here is super cool looking. 100% polarized lenses, and we have a bunch of different lenses. If you go down in the description, all the different colors kind of break down what scenario they're best suited for. Um, on the inside, they got the rubber nose pads that are, that are adjustable as well. So they stay on your face really well. If you're hot and sweaty, they're not gonna slide off. Just awesome pair of sunglasses. Be able to see deeper in the water with polarized lenses. So everyone knows if you're fishing, especially in the springtime, when that's coming up, when the bed fishing season gets here, gonna need some high quality polarized sunglasses. All right, that's all we got for today. Thanks for tuning in to What's New at TW. For more information or to purchase the products seen here today, make sure to click shop or the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this week's video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, let us know in the comments which one of these products you're most excited about.